quotient is the answer to a division problem. Order matters when you're dividing. If you're given a division problem like 6 divided by 2, that can be represented as a fraction, 6 over 2. That's the same thing as 6 divided by 2. Or that can be represented with the division box where we put 6 inside and the 2 on the outside. Order matters in division. In my example, 6 is the dividend and 2 is the divisor. I emphasize that because the rule is that the divisor must be a whole number when you're dividing. And if it's not, like in this example that I have with 4.5 divided by 1.8, what's the divisor there? The divisor is 1.8. It is not a whole number. Therefore, we are going to have to rewrite this problem so that the divisor is a whole number. Just like with fractions, as long as whatever you do to the top, you do to the bottom, or whatever you're doing to the bottom, you do to the top, and you have an equivalent fraction, right? We're going to think of that same concept with division, and we need to do something to the bottom so that it's a whole number. That's going to be multiplying by a power of 10 every time. 1.8 times 10 is equal to 18. If I multiply the bottom times 10, I have to also multiply the top times 10 to maintain that equivalency. So 4.5 times 10 is equal to 45. So when we set up this problem, we're ultimately going to be dividing 18 into 45 because our rule with division is we set up our division box, 4.5 divided by 1.18. 1.8, I'm sorry. But the number on the outside, the divisor, has to be a whole number. So we moved the decimal over one time outside. If we moved it one time on the outside, we have to move it one time on the inside. So this went over, and then inside it goes over, and then you know that's where it's going to go straight up in your answer. So now you can divide 45 divided by 18 and know that that's how we're going to get the answer to 4.5 divided by 1.8. Now we can always use estimation to help us with what we think the answer might be. Um, 4.5 is close to 5. 1.8 is close to 2, 5 is 5 divided by 2, half of 5 is 2.5. So my estimation, and I can just put that approximation symbol up here. If I were to estimate this, I would say 5 divided by 2 is approximately 2.5. So I'm just going to put that in the corner of my mind so that I can compare my answer to that estimate. And then if I'm not close to that, I'll know that something went wrong. So over, over, up, now divide. 45 divided by 18. 18 goes in, doesn't go into 4, but 18 goes into 45 how many times? Probably, let's see, 18 times 1 is 18. That's too small. 18 times 2. Go off to the side and multiply. 18 times 2 is 36. And 18 times 3 is going to go over with uh, 54. So we're going to have to stop and say 18 times 2. I'm going to put that over the 5 because it took 45. It took both the 4 and the 5 for me able to divide by 18. 
So I divide, then I multiply. 18 times 2 is 36. Write that underneath the 45. And then I subtract 36 from 45 to get 9. And then I bring down the next digit. So since I didn't have another digit, I'm going to put that decimal and I can put as many zeros as I want because 45 is the same as 45.0 or 45.00. That way I can bring down the next digit and continue dividing. 18 goes into 90 five times. 18 times 5 is 90. I can stop dividing now because I got a remainder of 0. And I know that my solution or my quotient is 2.5.